Hello students, this is Dr. Shayanti Talwar and in today's session we are going to be looking at the poem Uphill by Christina Rossetti. So before we go to the poem or the poet, I'd like you to have a good look at the visual that you see on the slide and just think what the poem could be about. Also, give a thought to the title of the poem, the word uphill. In what context do we use this word normally? We may say at times, oh, this is a very uphill task, as in it's a very difficult task. Or it's quite uphill. Uphill literally means up the hill. So what happens when we walk up the hill or when we climb up a hill? We start panting, right? We experience breathlessness. It is not the same as walking on a plain road, right? And therefore, the word uphill is used as a metaphor. It is used uh, in order to compare maybe a difficult journey, a difficult task, a difficult uh, something challenging. So perhaps the poem is going to be something about that. Let's see. Before we go to the poem, let's have a look at the poet and try and understand her background. Christina Rossetti was born in the year 1830 and she passed on in 1894. She was uh, one of the very few women poets or women writers who were writing at uh, during her time and who were perhaps uh, being taken seriously or being published because most women writers in the Victorian period were not even taken seriously. Uh, but she happened to be the author of a lot of inspirational books and she wrote a lot of romantic, devotional and children's poems, which is perhaps why her works were given legitimacy because she was into children's uh, literature and she also wrote a lot of religious and devotional poetry. Uh, amongst her most noted and uh, memorable works, would be Goblin Market and Remember. Another reason why probably Christina Rossetti got the acknowledgement that she did as a poetess was because she was the sister of the renowned artist and poet Dante Gabriel Rossetti and she is the subject of several of his paintings. So she features us uh, in his paintings and several of his paintings are dedicated to her or they center around her, right? So this was a bit about the poet. We'll come back to her towards the end of the poem after trying to understand the message of the poem and also where the poet is coming from. Uh, why does she think of writing um, about uh, such a uh, such an uh, writing on such a subject or a topic why does she choose this topic now before going to the poem i would like you to have a look at the image on the screen now what does this picture tell you or what thoughts come to your mind when you see this picture just think for some time. How difficult is it going to be for this person? And what is he doing? What is the task this person is trying to do? Well, he's trying to roll a boulder, a big rock uphill. And in case uh, you are wondering where I took this picture from, well, this is uh, symbolic of the myth of Sisyphus. Sisyphus was, is a mythological character. He is uh, someone from Greek mythology and he was cursed by the gods to keep rolling a boulder uphill. And what do you think would happen when he finally rolled the boulder uphill? 
obviously hills taper on top right uh, they become narrower so the moment the boulder would reach the top the summit it would roll back again and again this person had to roll it uphill so now do you get the idea of doing something uphill or an uphill task now this for one is a very difficult and laborious task and secondly it is also futile in the case of sisyphus because of course he was cursed but i am using this picture in the context of this poem by christina rossetti where she is comparing life's journey to climbing up a hill it is that difficult it is that painful and it is that laborious and whether the boulder comes back or no she doesn't say that but definitely she is using a, a central imagery in the poem that of trudging uphill it's not walking it's trudging because when you walk up a hill you if you note your physical movements if you note the way your body Uh, performs or the way your legs feel or your heartbeat increases it's not simple walking it's trudging right now so a little about the poem is that uh, there are a few things which i'd like to share before we go to the actual poem the poem is an allegorical poem as in it's an allegory allegory is when you have a story uh, to convey a more profound message so she is trying to tell us about life and its difficult journey through a simple dialogue or a conversation that is taking place between two people now we don't know who these two people are they are just two voices but there's a dialogue happen happening and one of the speakers is very apprehensive she uh, i'm saying she because i'm just presuming it's a she and also because i like using the uh, subject pronoun she so this speaker is apprehensive uh, about the journey she's going to embark on and how difficult it is going to be uh, whether she's going to be alone whether there'll be others like her whether she'll get assistance or guidance on the way whether she can ask someone for directions whether she will get uh, an opportunity to take a break or rest for a while or uh, kind of uh, be uh, get some motivation to carry on with her journey so these are some of the apprehensions and anxieties she experiences and she expresses while the other speaker's job is to assuage her it is to comfort her or uh, reassure her that yes there is uh, going to be assistance on the way there's going to be support uh you are going to be guided uh you will get a place to rest now of course all this needs to be understood in the context of life's journey right it's not a, a, a journey uh, to a destination it, she's talking about life's journey but the way she puts it it could be it might as well be a journey to a certain destination and uh, that is why it's an allegory because she is using the allegory of a travel or a journey and she's uh, actually conveying a more profound a more complex kind of uh, message about life's journey uh, this uh, genre of poetry is also very typical and representative of victorian religious poetry